This is Camp Kennet. Hey, what's going on here? I'm hanging out at Bush Wildlife Sanctuary and we are bringing back this little dude who was helping me out for a presentation he wants out. It's a little male Florida box turtle, so we're gonna go put him back in the enclosure here and we're gonna talk a little bit about the Florida box turtle and the other species of terrestrial Chelonian, the gopher tortoise. So we have two species in here. I'm gonna step in because I was told I was allowed. Oh God, I'm getting old, can't even get in here. What we have here are the two species of land dwelling turtle and tortoise here in Florida. And this is the gopher tortoise. It's actually a member of the gopherous genus. And there are a few different types of gopher tortoise in the United States. These are the only tortoises found in the United States that are in this genus. Uh, gopherous polyphemus is the Florida gopher tortoise. And they range from Georgia all the way down and through peninsula Florida and then west towards Alabama and Mississippi along the Gulf Coast. And these guys are endangered because they compete with human beings for prime real estate. Most of that real estate is actually the high sand dunes where they dig these nice, pretty intense burrows down here. And some of these burrows can get to be about 30 foot long. And they call these a keystone species because these animals here are animals that create homes for other animals in their environment. So. In these burrows, you can find burrowing owls, you can find rattlesnakes, you can find indigo snakes. Uh, many different species of rodents will live in their burrows as well. And it's important that we keep these animals going because they are providing habitat and security for so many different animals here and throughout their range. Here at the sanctuary, these guys are animals that can't be released. So they have a nice enclosure here, which they share with the Florida box turtles. And uh, here's a Florida box turtle coming up right now. The Florida box turtle is a member of the Eastern box turtle family. Terrapine Carolina Bowery is the name of this animal right here. Uh, it's a subspecies and it's found all throughout peninsular Florida. These guys are, well, they're box turtles and I'll show you why they get their name. Most of you may know this, but uh, underneath on their plastron, they have a hinge right here. And that hinge allows them to close up nice and tight and that is what protects them and also gives them their name box turtle and that's why they have that name and these are just some of the most beautiful um, box turtles out there they just have so many beautiful radiating lines yellow lines coming out and i got a little buddy this gopher tortoise really likes me but anyhow uh, they are a member of the Terrapine genus. Uh, there's the Eastern box turtle and all its subspecies, the three-toed, the Gulf Coast, and the Florida box turtle, as well as Terrapine Carolina Carolina, which is the Eastern box turtle. There's also a Western race, and they are called Terrapine ornata uh, and Terrapine ornata luteola, which is the desert box turtle. So these guys uh, here in Florida are terrestrial, but they can swim and they move around quite nicely. Let's see, here's another one hiding out. There's a bunch of them hiding out in here. Really, really cool habitat for these guys. You can kind of see everybody doing their thing right now in there. Lots of places to hide out in the shade and they have fresh water to drink and swim in. And then all these animals are animals that were injured and can't be released into the wild. They're also education animals. And here we have a little gopher tortoise combat. Let's get the focus going. There we go. So these guys are just having a little combat issues right now. No big deal. Um, really enjoy these species. And when I first moved to Florida, I'd see them all the time. And the gopher tortoise is federally protected. So it is illegal for you to possess a gopher tortoise. It's illegal for you to even touch one. And sometimes that works against the tortoise because you know you could come across these guys on the road and they don't even let you move them off the road. It's kind of a pain in the neck, you know? I mean, um, sometimes the laws actually don't help out wildlife. So uh, we, have to, we have to just obey the laws and make sure these animals uh, don't get near the roads. Unfortunately, like I was saying earlier, these guys have, they like the same habitat that us humans like to build our houses on, the coastal sand dunes. This guy's been following me all over the enclosure. Let's see if we can find another animal here. How about a Florida boxy hanging out underneath this? Look at this, let's see, is that a female? Yep, it's a little female right there and she's hiding out. It's a little warm today, so we're gonna let her do her thing. 
Awesome stuff, man. So this is what we're doing here at Bush Wildlife today. Just returning the, returning the mail. Looks like this guy's swimming. So the Florida box turtle's an omnivore. It is going to be able to, well, it's gonna eat berries, fungus. It's gonna eat carrion, dead animals. And it's also going to eat insects and other invertebrates. And the gopher tortoise is going to eat grasses, weeds, leaves, some fruits, and uh, pretty much stays to that. So here are the burrows. These guys are doing awesome here. And we also have a bunch of gopher tortoises out there on the trails that if you come visit the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary, you'll be able to see them all. Uh, we have many wild gopher tortoises living here on the sanctuary grounds and they are in perfect shape, digging their big burrows. And uh, well, folks, there you have a bonus video. I'll be seeing you soon. We have more original videos coming up soon. Don't worry, season four is gonna start, but there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we learned something and I'll talk to you really, really soon.